Hey, it's Maria, and you are watching Wealth Creation, where we talk about wealth, passive income, financial freedom, how to get from a worker bee to a king or queen bee, and start living the life that you want to live. If you like those subjects, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notifications. Okay, today we're going to talk about this idea that you need to have a six, three to six months of savings. Um, in case you lose your job or there's some, you know, you have an illness and you can't work or some other disaster hits. And that's something that's really preached by some of the major financial gurus. And I think it is good to have some savings, um, some liquid money that you can get to really quick. But three to six months, I don't have that much and I probably never will. And I want to talk about why. First of all, savings accounts just don't make any money these days. I think my savings account makes 0.01%. Wow. That's like a dollar on a thousand dollars a year of savings. So, you know, that's not going to get me anywhere very quickly. And I think I have a high interest savings account that's paying 0.7%. So on that same thousand dollars, I would get $7. Financial freedom. Here I come, right? So if I have more than $5,000 in my savings account, which is not three to six months worth of income, then I'm putting that money into investments unless I know that I'm going to be needing it in the near future for something. And I usually do liquid or semi-liquid investments where I can make more money than I can make in my savings account. But the markets could also go down. So these are, I consider these more medium to long term. So what would I do if I lost my job tomorrow? Like, what is my plan? And I think that's something that people need to think about. But I don't think savings is the answer in today's world. What I think is the answer is, and you're probably going to laugh at this, but the gig economy. There's this huge gig economy from Uber to DoorDash to Uber Eats to all sorts of different companies that have apps that let you pick up and deliver things or do jobs for people or get temporary work whenever you want to work. And if you lost your job tomorrow, I can guarantee you that you can download one of those apps on your phone and be working the next day. Now, will you make as much money as you were making at your job? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on what your job was and how much you were making and what you were doing. And but it's nice to know that you could actually get working the next day without interviews, without looking for jobs, without any of that stuff. I mean, I know DoorDash people who are making over $30 an hour. They're hustling for sure, but you can make that kind of money with an app like DoorDash or Uber or those other ones. And if you don't like the idea of hauling around groceries or hauling around um, people, then I'm sure there are other apps. There's one, and I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry, but where you can take people's lost luggage to their houses. There are other types of apps where you can do, you can get like gig work, I think, to do like admin work or bookkeeping or stuff like that, where you're doing it on demand. There's, there's Fiverr. Fiverr is a website that used to be for really cheap jobs, but now I'm seeing things that are more and more expensive, and I'm seeing a lot more Western... U.S. and Europe-based people doing Fiverr type of gigs. So if you are technically, you've got a lot of technical skills, whether you're a programmer or you're a bookkeeper or you're an admin person or computer-related skills, you can go on a site like Fiverr, and I'm sure there are other ones, and you can start advertising and possibly get extra work that way too. So that's kind of my three to six months. Do I have some money in savings? Yep, I sure do. But I also have a lineup of these possible apps and gig jobs that I can do if I was in a position where I didn't have my normal income coming in. Plus, I'm building my passive income streams. I'm involved in different business app opportunities that are, they may not be paying me right now, but, you know, they are growing and down the road, they're going to pay me. Or they may be paying me a little bit, but I'm going to rely on them more down the road. So I'm always, I've always got my entrepreneur hat on and I'm always thinking of different ways to make money. So that's why for me, this whole three to six months of income isn't 
as important as it once was. I'd rather invest my money in places that I can make a higher return than have it all sitting in the bank making almost nothing when I know that I can go out and start doing DoorDash tomorrow if I had to and I would make enough money to at least float me by until I could figure something else out. So yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idea. If you've done some of this stuff, let me know too, because the more we share, the more we all learn. And I would love to know what's working for you and what isn't. Peace out, and here's to our success.